Once again, welcome back to the channel. Okay, ladies and gents, in this video, I'm going to redo the coolant in this car. Also, there's a pipe or a heater hose right down on the bottom of the block. It's right behind this tyre, so I've got to take the tyre off. It's a pesty hose. It's right up in there behind on the bowl. The last time I changed it was in 2006. So it's been sitting there for around 16 years. The reason I'm doing this, guys, is because I had a big leak behind this vaporizer and I just replaced all that a couple of weeks ago. So that little pesky hose down there, if that goes, it's going to dump all the coolant that I just brought. And I don't want to waste like 60 bucks. So I might as well just do that, replace that hose and add the new coolant in. It's not a coolant colour change, so I am still sticking with the green. I was going to go with the long life red, but this coolant lasts for eight years anyway, and I've never had a problem with it. So if you do want to do it properly and do a coolant change, ladies and gentlemen, there's a 14 mil bolt right there behind the starter motor. That's the block drain. So that there drains the block and that's the best way of draining all the coolant out of your block. And that's if you change into something like, you know, the long life red or something like that. Now, I'm not a mechanic, ladies and gentlemen. So if you do follow this guide, it is at your own risk. So the little pesty hose down the bottom is a pain in the butt. Okay, like I said, last time I did it was 2006. So that's why I think it's overdue. We should just change it before we do the, the coolant change. So we've jacked it up, guys. I am on grass. So I've put a bit of a support under that stand as well as the jack. I never trust the jack, ladies and gentlemen. You just never know. I've had it fall off the jack in the past. Alright, so now we got the tyre off. It's here. It's where the end of that screwdriver is. That's exactly where it is. It's a real pesty little hose. It's not leaking. But Murphy's Law that it will. And right there on the end of the screwdriver, ladies and gents, is the drain plug, 14mm for the block. We're not going to take that out today, we're going to leave that in. So you can see where it is guys, it's in a real pesty spot right up against the block. So it does go into the block as well, so you can drain the block from that, but I would advise it from that bung. Now you can see it coming out now, I took the cap off. I thought I didn't want to happen while my hand was there. Okay. Here it is, there's one of the clamps or two of them. There's the hose I'm talking about. So that's it ladies and gents, that's all it is you can see. I reckon it would have gone if I kept like, at least left it on there. It would have gone and then I would have lost like, you know, 60 bucks worth of coolant. Cause it's the bottom, it's right on the bottom. So it would have dropped the whole lot. All right, so guys, I do carry spare heater hose in the back of the car, all right? It's, in, it's actually very important you do that because if something does go wrong in the bush we've got some heater hose might even replace another one today under the bonnet that looks a bit weird so we might do that as well as you can see this one's very worn out so we're going to measure it up I'm going to flush a radiator put a new one on let's go so I'm going to flush it through the radiator while I measure up these hoses she's draining nice you can see it's still green and then I'm going to stick one into the hose and flush the core. And the heater in the car is open. I'm in the process of actually, as you can see, there's a bit of stuff lying around, changing the electric window module on that driver's door. So hopefully we get that done before the next trip. All right, so there's the small one done. And there's the long one done. So we got both cut. There's the old one. I'll put that in the back as a spare. That one can go in the bin. And we've got a little bit of spare of good stuff as well, so between the old stuff, which you never know, could come in handy if I run out of this one. Can go back in there, over there, that's where I'll keep it. I'll try and roll it up into that so it keeps it nice and neat. These are the types of things you're always going to carry as a spare in the bush. Now this little hose, guys, I'm telling you, every time I go bush, if I hadn't replaced it, I'd be stressing out. And you wouldn't even know if it was leaking until your car overheats and then you just do the head gasket. Okay, we're flushing it two ways. One's all done through the heater, and the other one's through the top of the radiator. This side's clear. The other side's still got a bit of green, it doesn't really matter. And it all comes all over me. As I said, that plug there, and I just marked with my finger, 
is the proper block drain plug okay so to get everything out to do an actual coolant change from red to green or green to red that's the bung you want to take out it's a 14 mil socket and that drains the block properly so this way it's still okay for this what i'm doing because it's just green to green and she's pretty clear now so i'm just about ready to fit it all back up and fill it up with the coolant all right so to make me life a little bit easier I'm soaking that thing in hot water because it's in such an awkward spot. So we'll soften it up a bit and then we'll get it on and do it up. Let's go. So there it is, guys. It's done it up. As you can see, that's the position of it. And looking from here, it's up in there. So very fiddly. That big wire was sort of in the way. I didn't want to take it off. If I did take it off, would have been a bit easier. So we're ready to fill it up. Let's go. So it makes up thir uh, 10 litres, ladies and gents, this one. So we're holding 13 litres in the car or in the whole system. And this is an eight year, eight years this one. So it's a good one. There's a bit of rubber in there guys, I'm trying to get it out. I've just seen it poke its head out. That was from when I replaced. There it is. When I replaced the, there it is, there it is. It's from the old vaporizer. Trying to get it out. He's popping his head up. Oh, the tippy toes here, guys. It didn't come out when I flushed the system either. Right, ladies and gents, the job's done. Again, thanks for watching. I'll tell you what, I'd rather do it in the driveway here than in the middle of the remote high country or somewhere. Who knows? But these are the types of little checks we've got to do as well, guys. So, you know, you take your vehicle out. We go on bush, we're going through rivers and all that sort of stuff, right? And these type of things do wear out. And they're the hidden little pains in the butts. Especially that type of thing down there. Because if you're in the middle of the mud, somewhere in the wet, and it lets go, I mean, yeah, that's great. Your car starts to overheat. Then you've got to troubleshoot why and where. If it's already wet, how are you going to find the leak, right? So anyway, the job's done. Here's the next one. It's a window module, or an electric window module. It's got the motor in it too. We're going to replace that in the driver's side door and get that electric window running again. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Thumbs up for the Bush TV.